This is day one of our safari with Martin Gittens, Jared Gaffa, and Scott Bryant from Australia. So Todd and I are loading our boats. The Aussies are loading their boats just out of view. We are going to go out onto our reef structure, some rocks, and see what kind of trouble we can get into. They've got some pretty cool ideas for what they want to do, and conditions are ideal. Oh, kia ora, all my followers and friends. Uh, today we're down here at Corpus Christi with my friends Todd and Scott and Jared and Glenn and we're going to punch through this massive surf and then go catch some fish. Gotta love these guys, they got a great sense of humor. We got our first kingfish. Saw something smack the surface and threw the little chrome jig over there and it got smacked. It just sat there for about a full minute, couldn't reel it in and then it finally took off. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's a kingfish. He just doesn't know to go make a long run yet. We are not planning to keep kings today. We're going to be down the beach for two days. Ooh. little king. Anyway, for anyone back home watching or anyone that finds this interesting, I'm out here with Todd and Glenn in Texas or Corpus Christi. Um, sorry guys, just hooked a fish. So what we're doing is we're looking for topwater kings today. I'm using a Hero 60, uh, Wahoo 60 um, stick bait from Ebb Tide Adventures back home. John and uh, John and Andy really look after me really well on that stuff so that's yesterday's carnage, I'm still using it because it was sweet. I've crushed all the barbs because it's a pain in the ass with these fish. I'm not really trying to catch them anymore, I'm just trying to hook them and send them through the air. But, so what we're doing is, well what I'm doing is I'm using the side scan, I can actually see these fish swimming so I know which way I'm casting and I'm looking for anywhere where there's like a bit of a flat and then a rock kind of come up and it's pushing the bait kind of like right next to me at the moment and there's fish chasing them and you can, you can actually sometimes see them if you look down. But um, I'm going to cast over them and then keep trying to send them airborne all day. So. Oh, we just had a huge explosion. So I took Martin's advice, Came threw on a top out water. Of, out of the water. Yippah! And you can tell I'm enjoying it. He's got that thing crossways in his mouth. He was sold. Ah, uh, he just spit it out. He's got it on the edge. Yeah! So we're gonna get a pretty wide variety of, of sizes of fish. This one's kind of average, and that's fine. Uh, we'll catch a few small ones and a few really good ones. So uh, it'll be a good adventure today. A little better fish. And if, as soon as you release it, get right back on it, because there are other fish waiting right there close. You see I've got a different style of, of uh, retrieving. I wanted to try something a little different than the other guys and see how it worked and it was working just as well as everybody else's style. This is Scott Bryant. Dead sitting, he landed on the front of my kayak. 
Oh, I, I actually, I had a moment. Oh, yeah! Mm -hmm. This is Jared Gaffer. Now you're up. <laughs> I loved hanging around with these guys because they're having such a good time. I also offer private lessons to your female clientele. <laughs> Got a second one on top water. I had a giant fish blow out of the water chasing this lure. He came a couple of feet up into the air. And this one's a good fish. So another thing that's really cool about this dynamic is on a day like this the wind is almost zero and you can hear each other talking for hundreds of yards. So it's kind of cool, you can carry on a conversation way out across the water. All right, so we're doing topwaters today. It's really hard to get the bite on video on screen. Because they don't bite at every cast, but. He's got to watch those hooks. Make sure he's ready to be tailed or he'll give you a, a clean shot so you don't end up with hooks in your hand. Cobia, or three really big, oh, massive cobia. Get the kaboku. Come eat that, buddy. Yeah, those cobia come and go really quickly. Really like to catch them, but they disappear from view. You don't know where they're at. Kind of have to take care of your fish first. Eat that jig, man. Don't have this one just yet. Yeah. This little guy's not much to look at, but all of them on top water are hilarious and they're fun to catch. There we go, another pretty one. So now I'm just hoping that those cobia will come back around. They're not really in an eating mood yet. If we keep doing this, they will turn on at some point. Marty's just got a gift for this kind of thing. He's always hooking fish on this style. So there's, there's one cast and one fish. Can he do two casts and two fish? I bet he can. I 
How about blow ups three casts in a row? He's got to be the only guy in the world who's not happy when he hooks a kingfish. He just wants to see him blow the lure up. morning in top water. Another flying chainsaw. Come on, King. in front of the yak. This fish came five or six feet out of the water. This is so cool. And unfortunately, I only had a single camera, so I'm limited to facing one direction. The other guys had the cameras facing forward, so I thought, well, I'll just do my usual camera thing, leave it facing me, and kind of see the see the fish get brought in a little better that way. I didn't have extended batteries, and so I was limited to about an hour and a half of, of video time. Sometimes the fish come unhooked right by the boat. You can tell best answer for that. Immediately cast again and go catch another one. Which I did. careful when you're unhooking them because when they're flapping around they will right. hook you with, big, with the other trouble. King, I'll take any top water king, little bitty guy. A good hit. <laughs> Coming your way, bro. Sorry. This one's feeling like a pretty good fish. Oh, I think you just let if go. I can keep him on the hook. Nope. Right back towards me. What do you think of Texas? I think the Aussies are liking this. Mm. I think we got three out of five of us hooked up right now. There you come. Hey, big baby. Gorgeous fish. And the water is clear. It's pretty. Such a beautiful fish. This one's a toad if I can get him to slow down enough to get his tail. Yippa! 
Good fish. Yeah, we weren't keeping fish this day, but if you were going to keep one to get mounted or something else, this this is a pretty good fish. Double check, make sure we're recording. <laughs> because this is a good fish. He managed to get the hooks in his face pretty good. I'm going to have to get a better hold on him and get those hooks out. There you are, guys. What a beauty. Hey, Todd! Send it back to the water as soon as possible so that he doesn't uh, spend too much time out of the water. They die pretty quick if you keep them out. But from there, check your bait, make sure it's okay. Go get another one. They're talking Come to my to fish. fish. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me, fish. Come to me. Oh, you're good. Number 14. I'm losing lures and stuff today. Oh, that's not good, man. Should we go home? <laughs> no. I'll tough it out this time. <laughs> How come you've only caught 14 today? I, I was playing with Tom. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Understandable. Yeah.